the entire civilian population inside Syria is gripped by fear and despair. And the basis for that fear is very real. When we see the numbers that are being killed, the increasing intensity of that violence in terms of the destruction, and also the despair is grounded in the fact that they do not see any prospect for an end to this horrendous cycle of violence. Our humanitarian colleagues are taking tremendous risks on a daily basis and continue to do so, and of course we applaud them for their, for their courage. But uh, uh, absolutely, it's a complex uh, situation, um, both in terms of uh, the political dynamics um, uh, and the, uh, the, the, the arrangements with the Syrian government, also vis-a-vis uh, -vis the security and, uh, and the constraints that, that arise from that. We are in a crisis mode, we are in emergency mode, there's a sense of urgency in terms of the response. I've just come back from the field and really the, I cannot say enough about what I saw. UNICEF teams working 24 hours a day, UNHCR, World Food Program, NGO partners, everybody doing as best as we can to respond. We have authorized our operations to the maximum of the funding available. We urgently need additional resources to be able to cope with the situation.